Yeah, see this chocolate brown color, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. And it's all burl. If you look at the surface, all burl. But the problem with this is when you look at this side, there's a big hole coming up in through the bottom. This is a root section, and there were multiple tree forms coming out of this, see? Uh, but there's a big hole here, and it's at a weird angle, but I'm going to see if I can't make a small table, a sculptural table, and I'll try cutting through here and try to miss most of the hole that's there and pick up the burl. Beautiful. It should be a beautiful piece. It'll be a small table, but it should be beautiful. And it looks like it's all healthy. I don't see any rot in it at all. But again, you're confronted with, look at this, see? These rocks, see it's grown around the rocks. Mm -hmm. And that makes it even tougher. So I have to miss rocks in this. Mm -hmm. Or what, you hit one rock and you can throw your chain away. But it was, see, here's how it grew. This is kind of interesting how it grew. See, it was growing like this. See, this is the... There's how it grew. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. There were, I would say, at least three tree, small tree forms coming up out of this root section. Now, when you found this, this was, it was cut off already cut off. Somebody had already cut it. Probably a firewood cutter on the mm. beach. A lot of people go down there for firewood, and that's perfect. You just cut off the rounds, and they're already the right length. So, yeah, I would like it if it had been this long, then it would have been a leg. Mm. <laughs> but it wasn't the case. So this is the same piece that we saw when it was full, eh? And you remember on the top how big of a... This, this actually was the root section and where it split on the bottom. Remember how big it was? Mm. So I got it cut down to this size, so that'll all be a hole. I don't preliminarily draw anything out on paper or anything. Once I get the platform I'm going to draw on, then I just draw on it. So this will be different levels because it'll be a table. So probably like this might be uh, an inch down from this and this will be a half inch down from this. And this will mm -hmm. probably be the top la level mm -hmm. just to give it some relief and some, you know, sculptural shape. Mm -hmm. But still to make it functional so there's flat surfaces to set things on. Mm. Wow. So, let's see. Here's what I needed to miss. See the rocks that are embedded in it? Look at that. So, some of them, it's just totally grown around. Here's another one, see? They're kind of beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful but until you hit it with your chain yeah. and your chainsaw. Ooh. But some of them actually will be grown inside and you just can't see them, so you hit them. So this is the underside of that table we just looked at? Yes. Yeah. And so this is the part, this was down in the ground, this was buried underneath ground mm. when the tree was growing. Another little piece. This is the one, remember, you photographed a few shots of it. Well, it was like a big, I remember this texture here. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to... Uh, what a shape. Yeah, I had to take two pieces to make it. You see, I, here's the join. This was a root section of another tree. Haha, <laughs> and you can see the diagonal join there. Yeah. Lovely. One of the advantages of this piece that's been added on here for the base yeah. is that it grew, not in this shape, but it, it grew similar. These were root areas that were coming out. Ah. And so it means the grain grew that way, which makes it quite strong. Really strong. So the grain's going the direction that the shapes are. Brilliant. Yeah, it makes it like a, it's quite a wild shape.
amazing how much smoothening yeah yes with this with the chainsaw oh it is yeah. i can refine the shape down to an eighth of an inch wow of where i want it okay that's about it It'd be ready for the kiln now oh this is the famous kiln it, this is the famous kiln water for two weeks and it keeps it a really humid environment. Uh -huh. I'll load this up with those two tables and they'll about fill the whole kiln. Wow, and how do you control the heat? Uh, I have a rheostat and a uh, temperature gauge. Cool. <clears throat> and then for another four weeks after that then it'll be without wa mo high moisture in there. And these are other things from before or these are? Uh, these are little pieces I save if I want to repair, do repairs that I've dried from other other carvings. pieces, other carvings. Looks like they're gonna fit. Oh yeah. I just gotta make sure I get set up so if an earthquake or something, nothing drops on my my setup. That's good though. That it's not going anywhere. Turned on now. Okay. The kiln is turned on and I'll put the water in there to keep the moisture high for two weeks. So I'll go get hot water and put it in the bowl. So they're cooked? They're, they're ready? Dry. They should be completely dry now. So how long have they been in here? Six weeks. Oh, yeah. First two weeks with uh, high moisture content so that they don't crack and then after that just drawing the rest of the moisture out the last four weeks. Mm. I keep it at about between 120 and 130 degrees. Mm. So will they have done any cracking during this process? Uh, if there's any cracking that's happened, it's very minimal. Um, primarily it's uh, just things that are already in the wood, uh -huh. n not new cracks. So how is it, the table just out of the kiln? Uh, it's warped some. This, this originally was a plain surface. The two surfaces met exactly and it was tight, so it's warped. And I'll have to uh, take that apart and realign it and replane it get so the two surfaces are uh, perfectly matched. So that's because it's in the drying process. Yeah, it's, it's in the drying process it warps mm -hmm. and shrinks. Mm -hmm. The main thing is to keep it from cracking while it's doing those things. And it mm -hmm. doesn't seem to have cracked anywhere. It still has the same strength that it had. This whole area here has not cracked. So it'll it'll be fine. I just it'll just take some work to get it back to the yeah. fitting perfectly together. There it is, lovely. Yeah. Ready for the next stage.